Hi guys, welcome to Ebony Property TV channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the short term and the long term opportunity after COVID-19 in Malaysia real estate. Who should stay back to watch this video if you are the property investor that you like to know the short term and the long term property investment in Malaysia, please stay back. Emily from One World Real Estate Group. If you'd like to know more about Malaysia real estate tips, please follow my Facebook, like and subscribe my YouTube channel. You'll get a free video every week. What will happen to Malaysia property market? Will it go bust? But property bubble or a hot air? For sure, there will be a short-term effect of COVID-19. There will be a two main groups seriously affected by the COVID-19. So the first one is the property owner and the second one is property developer. For those property owner who own commercial property, hospitality property and high-end residential, so these are the property owner that may heavily affected during the COVID-19. Therefore, the tenants might ask for the rental reduction or they might terminate the tenancy during these periods. As a property owner, we're facing a lot of issue during the COVID-19 as a lot of tenants start to request for rental reduction. The side effect is if the property owner refuses to give a discount to the tenants, the tenant might terminate or they might delay the rental. So that would affect the cash flow of the property owner as well. A huge number of overhang property in the market. Therefore, after the COVID-19, the property developer may need to start to re package or slash the profit margin further to attract the buyers or the property investors to come in to purchase the property. Another question posed by a lot of investor and property buyer. Have property price climbed so high that it create a property bubble in Malaysia? I don't have a crystal ball. How do I know? I can't predict the future. Therefore, I just can advise you what I see for the short term opportunity for the property investor. For a short term opportunity, you may see a lot of below market value property that you listed or some property that which the property owner they can't afford to pay the installment anymore so therefore there's a lot of uh, foreclosed property or we call it auction property in the market so these are the property that actually will be able to help you to enter into the market let me share with you these three tips which is very useful for you to find a below market value property and you'll be able to get the first hand information tips number one always work with the area specialist and build a long term relationship with them tell them that your requirement and get them to help you to search for the property that actually you want get them to inform you from time to time second you can go to the property portal, sign up the auto alert system. Assuming that you're interested in the landed property in Bukit Jalil, so you just key in the Bukit Jalil landed property and if any of the agents of the property owner that they post up the property for sale with the indication price that you want, then it will be automatically go into your email so that you are able to master and also get the first-hand information on the new updates. Last but not least for the third tips, is we always see there's a lot of Facebook group. Go and join all the Facebook group on the property channel. You'll be able to get the updated information as well. On the long term of property investment opportunity, the property price will always climb up because of the inflation. I always being throw this kind of question. When do you foresee the property price will recover or will increase again? It's too early to tell now. My answer is as long as Everybody are so fear and they are afraid to go in. This is the time that you should go in and jump in to buy your property. Like what Robert Kiyosaki always said, buying property during the crisis, you will never go wrong. As long as it's under the safe zone, then it's time for you to invest. If I'm an investor, what type of property that I should buy and which area in KL, in Klang Valley, in Selangor or in Malaysia that I should look into it. No matter you're from which part of Malaysia, to buy property, my personal advice is still focused in KL or Klang Valley. If you are ready to do the property investment now and want to do some research, I promise you I will do another video to specially talk about the different type of property and the pricing guidelines 
and also the unique investment tips for that area. Always remember these six important key when you start your property investment. Key number one, walking distance to school, shopping mall, LRT station, bus stop or commercial area. Because on a long-term investment, you may want to rent it to the tenants so that it will be able to help you to contribute to your installment. Therefore, the location is very important. Key number two, developer. Developer also playing a very important role in the property investment. Tips number three, future development capital appreciation potential area like Subang, Sunway, Cheras, Kepong, Bukit Jalil, PJ, and many others that which is very near close to the KL city. How do you grow to beat the inflation? Rule number one, invest in yourself first to beat the inflation. You need to take action to start your own investment and leverage on the current situation and also the short-term opportunity to grow your long-term plan. Buying your own house instead of renting. Treat it as a forced saving. Leverage on the economy downturn with zero down payment opportunity. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm Emily from One World Real Estate Group. If you like my video, kindly follow my channel and I promise you I'll make a video every week. Please help me to do a comment below if you like to know more about Malaysia real estate information and also the updated information about real estate in Malaysia. I promise you I will reply all the comments that you posted. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.